God is good. Amen. Amen. We're going to read in the book of Hebrews this morning. Hebrews 13 and 15. Hebrews 13 and 15. By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. And I'm going to zoom in on those first two words. By Him. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord Jesus, we're so thankful today. And we just pray, Lord, in the next few minutes, take complete control, God. Speak to each heart. Let your Spirit lead us, guide us into the truth, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will touch each heart today with your Spirit. We need you, God. We need the Holy Ghost power right now, God. We need you, Jesus. We lift you up. We thank you. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. When you read that same passage in the Amplified, it says, Through Him, therefore, let us constantly and at all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise. In fact, when you look at that word, by... In the original language, it's dia. Day, day, dia. But it's the Greek word dia. It can mean through, but it can also be translated because of. So he could be saying because of him. Because of him. Oh, how many things in your life where you can say because of him. I am able to praise God constantly because of Him. In fact, if you look at the verses right before that, because you notice when it says there, by Him, therefore. When you see the word therefore, that's a Bible way of saying you need to look back at the verses right there. Paul is making an argument, and he goes, therefore, right? So he's wanting you to look at the verses right before it. Well, guess what the verses are right before it? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's what comes right before that. Be not carried about with strange, with divers and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have pro- not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar. Whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us therefore, let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. By him, therefore, oh, what is he saying? I am not focused on this world. I am not focused on the things that only I can accomplish. I look at my own life and I realize that in myself there is no good thing. All that I have, I have because of my God. I have what I have because God has been good to me. It is because of Him that I am who I am. It is because of Him that I have what I have. It is because of Him that I have my health, that I have my strength, that I have my life. 
I need to take my eyes off of myself and focus on Him. It is by Him that I live. It is through Him that I live. I move. I have my being. My whole life is because of Him. It is by Him that I'm here today. It's not about me, folks. It can never be about me. It is through Him that I am what I am. In myself there is no good thing. I have found joy and peace and goodness in this life only through Him. It is all through Him. He's the one that has made my life important. He's the one that has made my life worth living. He's the one that has given me a sense of purpose. He's the one that has made my life worth something. He's the one that has taken nothing and turned it into something in my life. It is all because of him you see some people look around and they just want to give praise during the good times when everything's working perfect in their life but notice what he says here by him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God in the good times is that what it says continually you see I do not want to be a thermometer there are some people who are the thermometer when it's frosty cold in their life guess what they're like y'all don't mind me I'm just barely making it and hey I understand we all have days we all have days. But I want you to know, take your eyes off of your circumstances and put your eyes on Him. Oh, it's time to look at Him. Don't just look at what is going on around you. Or you will find yourself in the situation that Peter was in. Lord, if it be thou, in Mark 14 and 28, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. And when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried. You see, sometimes we focus on our surroundings and our obstacles and we begin, to, we begin to measure ourselves by our abilities and our powers to overcome these challenges that we face. But I have this to say. It's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In other words, it's not by you, it's by Him. Oh, you need the power of God in your life when you feel yourself begin to sink. Oh, when you feel that sinking feeling come on you, and you know, oh, here it comes again. Here comes that depression grabbing me and it's pulling me back down into that pit of gloom and despair. And when you feel yourself being drawn back into that pit, uh, just picture what Peter did. It's time to reach up and say, Lord, save me. I don't want to be pulled beneath these waves. I need something solid, something that I can hold on to. God, I can't make it on my own. And you can't make it on your own. But you can make it by Him. Yeah. Oh, take your eyes off of your problems and turn your eyes towards Jesus. Take your eyes off your ability, off of your power, and put your eyes on Him. The problem is many times, many times we focus on our strength. Oh, but it's time to learn to say, I can't do it but you can 
Woo! Sometimes he just catches us at the last moment. Caught. You know, I, 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 as I was looking at this, I found a scripture. This is interesting. It said, And Abram lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. So the ram was caught by his horns. How about in Genesis 39 and 12, it says, with Joseph, it says, She caught him by his garment. Woo! The just shall live by his faith. Oh, there's been times when I felt like I was slipping and sliding and I almost just fell off the edge, but there was one thing that caught me from falling. And it caught me. And what did it what caught me and kept me from falling and slipping off into that pit? What was holding me there? I was being held by my faith. When you feel yourself struggling, that's when you should begin to turn your eyes on Jesus. Most people would say at that moment it's too difficult to praise God. But Paul said in those moments, by him, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Let us constantly and all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of our lips, thankfully acknowledging and confessing and glorifying His name. It is in those moments that we need to lift up our hands and say, I just can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop praising His name. I just can't stop praising His name. What's His name? Jesus! Woo, when the devil grabs a hold to me and he's trying to discourage me and beat me down, I want to lift up that shield of faith and I want to say, God, it's only because of you. It's because of you, God, that I'm able to overcome. I'm able to overcome all things. All things are possible. That's what Paul said. I can know how to be abased. I know how to abound in all places, in all things. I know how to be full. I know how to be hungry. I know how to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Oh, the Lord said your shoes will be as iron and brass. Oh, the adversaries, they will be broken into pieces before you and they will turn their backs before you. The God will anoint the horn of his anointed. The Lord will gird you with strength as you go into battle. The Lord will make your way perfect. David said, I cried and you answered me. You strengthened me with strength in my soul. I say wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. They that wait upon the Lord might. They shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh, I'm telling you today that you don't have to be afraid. God is with you. You do not have to be dismayed because He is your God. He will strengthen you. He will help you. He will uphold you. You can't do it by Him. You can't do it by yourself. But what you need to say is what David said. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You know, when David, he faced the giant, 
And the giant came and he said, you're coming against me with a little stick like I'm a dog? And I'm thinking as I read that story, you got it all wrong, giant. He's not coming out there with a stick. David looked at him and said, you have a shield and a spear. I'll tell you what I have. I have a God. Right? I'm coming by Him. I'm not coming in my power. I'm coming by Him. And He overcame the giant. And one day when we're in heaven, I'm going to give you a sneak preview. You want a sneak preview into heaven? Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him. You ready? By the blood. Through the blood. Because of the blood. It was because of the blood that they were able to overcome him. We trust in God. We know that He abides in us by the Spirit which He has given us. He is with us all the time. And there's another way that the word by is used. And I realize this this has not been a super long message this morning. But I know as I was studying this, God was just really burning this into my heart. By, when you look it up in the Webster's Dictionary... Another way that you can translate by is near. Correct? If you look it up in the Webster's Dictionary, he's, he's standing by the window. Right? It can mean near. In the vicinity. It says in Genesis 18 and 2, And he lifted up his eyes and looked, he lifted, lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. Right? But... My favorite scripture is in Exodus 33 and 19 when he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face for there shall no man see me and live. And the Lord said, There is a place by me. There is a place by me. Oh, I believe there is a place that is close to God. If you want to go there, God will carve out a place for you. He wants to carve out a special place close to Him for you. Oh, I believe that God is ready to do a work in your heart right now today if you will let Him. If you will ready to say, Lord, it's not me. I'm ready to put myself on the shelf and I'm ready to put you first. I'm ready to say, God, it's because of you. It's because of you, Lord. All that I have today, Lord, I have because of you. Oh, everything that I face today, no matter how difficult it is, I can still continue to worship you. I can still continue to live for you because I'm not focused on myself. I'm not focused on my challenges. I'm not focused on the difficulties. I'm focused on you. By Him. Through Him. The fruit of your lips giving praise. You know, Joshua set up the 12 stones that they took out of Jordan when they crossed over the Jordan. Why did he want them to set up those stones? And what did the stones mean? He tells us in Joshua 4 and 21. He spake unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What mean these stones? Then ye shall let your children know, saying, Israel came over this Jordan on dry ground, for the Lord your God dried up the waters of Jordan from before you. 
God felt that it was important to remind them and their future generations that it was by him. It was by him. They didn't just make it across the Jordan. They made it across the Jordan by him. How did you get saved? How did you make your way out of that miry clay? Who is going to keep you until the end and when you make it onto the streets of gold and you're looking at him as he's sitting on the throne, you know what you're going to say? I'm only here because of you. It's by him. Oh, and you're going to take your crown and you're going to cast it at his feet and you're going to say, you did this for me. Oh, it's by Him. He is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before His throne. Oh, it's time to say, devil, you're a liar. I am more than a conqueror. I'm tired of listening to your lies. He has done all of this for me. What shall we say then if God be for us? Who is, can be against me? Let's stand right now. <coughs> as our musician comes I want to give you an opportunity to talk to the Lord right now thank him for the victory in your life thank you Lord for the victory that you've brought into my life amen thank you Jesus oh everything you have you have because of his grace can you thank him right now can you lift up your eyes and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you... <laughs> thank you for all that you've done for me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.